So split into three units, our main troops go wide, and first to make contact with draws? What are you, a coward? What was that? Huh? I asked you what you said. You think I'm scared, is that it? I'll have you know my plan is textbook. Drop it, Tyon. Let go! Colony 13 is a complete enigma. Our data is incomplete. It's just way too cautious, you clod. It's tedious and it's dull. Can you see that? If we don't eat now, we'll starve. We don't have the time to mess around. What does... Look, Tyke boy. I mean, we're Iron Lambda, yeah? The colony led by Commander Issard. And this is some no-name backwater. We hit from the side, and we hit hard. Am I wrong? <sighs> what we need is momentum. Gotta play hard to win big. Right, I see. One team draws the sentries away, then the main force can strike en masse, where the flank will be left loosely defended. Seems optimal. Is that right, Tyon? Huh? Yes. Correct. <sighs> All right. If that's your opinion, we'll approve it. Yes, Ezerd? Yes. If you say it'll work, I trust you. Happy, Tyon? Yes. Commander! Strategist! It's almost time. The new console should be arriving from the castle soon. Of course. On my way. My, that time already. Nimue, why are you still using that gizmo? Now that's not very polite, Izzard. This mechanical gizmo is much more precise than the iris clock. And unaffected by the black fog. Right, Tyon? Huh? Uh, uh, right. Should be an exit through the southern water vein. Head straight for that. And you, ma'am? We'll hold the line here. Keep them occupied. Begging your pardon, that's idiocy and certain death. Tie on. You can't. You all still have a future. Until the day of your homecoming, please just live. And here. I won't! Don't do this, ma'am! Listen, I need you to live, Tyon. You must! Flee for the colony! Tyon, get moving! Hurry! How? How can I? Tyon!
shouldn't have put so much stock in your irises, Kay. That is what you get. It's just bad luck. The plan was sound. If not for the black fog. It's all about the skin feel. You've only got eyes up front. That's why Kay lost. Sounds, the air, breathing. When you can feel all that, you don't need the iris. And for all that, you still flunk back, tail between legs. Are you forgetting that fact? <laughs> He's awful forgetful, isn't he? <laughs> so? I'm still breathing, and I... I had a ball with them kids, right until I had to scarper. Excuses a ten a penny. What are you implying? Excuse me? Is this a private party, or can I interject? I was thinking I might head out alone next. Is that allowed? You want to see with your own iris, eh? Pretty much. Plus, there's Izzard in Colony Lambda, right? It'll be an extremely amusing situation, don't you think? Yeah, we'll have fun, I'm sure. certainly quick to accept things. After the day they had yesterday, I knew Ethan's lot was sturdy, but... You lost sleep, all right? Yeah. Like a log. Thanks for the room. You cleaned it out just for us. Uh, don't sweat it. Just a token from us higher-ups. My iris is clock. I couldn't quite believe it. So I went outside and hunted down a hox as a test. And? Didn't get snuffle. The flame clock didn't show, and neither did any moats. Looks like it's real. Yeah. We were baffled too, at first. Anyway, we're all thankful to you. Flame clocks don't work so good when you're dirt. Hated having to worry about when my number might be up. Wait, dirt? I thought Ethel's rank was silver. It was when she saved our hides, wasn't it? Well, snuff happens. Kamaravi. Heard of him? Call him the Smoldering. The greatest warrior in all of Agnes. And a commander loves to spar with the guy. I know him. They say his spear technique is unparalleled. That, and he's an ace for honest pilot. Wow. So Kamaravi and Ethel were rivals. That's right. We fought against him who knows how many times now. Took our share of damage, but then so did they. At 
One time, one of his Pharonis' knee joints blew clean out. Most likely it was a failure of maintenance. The commander could have ended it then and there. But no. Telling other people's tales again? Not very endearing. Cut it out. C commander! Uh, apologies, Mom. <laughs> I'm joking. Ethel? It became a tremendous scandal. The castle stripped our colony of our silver rank, demoting us to dirt. <sighs> but look. They were made the lowest of the low, and still they chose to stick by me, even though it meant having to live day to day. That is why I must prevail over him. Huh? But you're... Free from the yoke of the flame clock, yes, certainly. However, this is another matter. What is it about, then? Hunger? Pride? Desire? Joy, maybe? It's a little hard to put into words, but something along those lines. I haven't all the time in the world, and my troops understand this full well. For me, well, all of us, really. A rematch with Kamaravi is everything. And that will give purpose to the remainder of our lives. A purpose to life. Right, okay. On an emotional level, I could understand. Wow, really? I didn't say I agreed. I just see her point of view, that's all. <sighs> all right now, let's put a pin in the philosophizing. When we talked last night, you said your destination was Sword March, as I recall. Right. Come along. This right here is Sword March. Well, that part is common knowledge, I suppose. To get there, you have a few possible routes, mainly the northern and the southern, and then the direct route cutting through the ocean vortex. You don't say. That works. Nobody's done it before. Such it is. You can try to approach it from sea or from air. But as soon as you're close to it, you'll end up being ripped to shreds. Trust me, it's not just the waves and the wind. We believe there's some other force at play there. And so, through elimination then, these two. And quite frankly, I wouldn't advise going north. Why is that? The road's dangerous and it runs right past Agnes Castle territory. You'd have a hard time getting through. Tyan, turns out you were right. As always. Additionally, you are Ouroboros. If you face another colony, you may find the same thing happening as did with us. I'd feel safe betting on it. If you go south, the battle lines are relatively fixed. If you can proceed along this route, you'll get there in about two months. 
two months. <sighs> but... But? There's more? Even if you reach the sword, this city, yes? It's hard to believe you would find it there. It seems far-fetched. How so? Once, we had to advance across this region ourselves. It was empty. Nothing but the sword piercing the landscape. And then, there's that word you mentioned, city. What could that possibly mean? Is it a person? Or a thing? When Guernica talked about it, it sounded kind of like a colony? Uh, I was pretty sure it was an object. Will you still go there, regardless? Yeah. That was the idea. For a chance to live on. Then there's no more to say. Boliaris. Mom? Our guests will be leaving soon. Let's give them any assistance we can. No worries! Feel free to use the facilities here at your leisure. Get ready for what's ahead. Mimi, relax. We're just doing what Ethel said. Just using the facilities at our leisure. You have to eat, else you won't grow. It's just... Don't let them get to you. Yeah? Aww. Hey. What is this? It used to belong to my friend. He always wore it, till last year. <gasps> yes, he died, fighting against Colony Psy. You animals killed him. Shot him right here. Clean through. You're wrong! We're actually from Colony Gim- Mimi, what? If that's what you want. Go ahead and shoot. It's not like I'm a hard target. Now we're talking. A what? You're nearly done anyway. Well then keep your lousy embers. Die today or in three months' time. Not much difference. <sighs> ah, just mind you don't get poisoned before your time's up. What a jerk. So uncalled for. Senna, it's fine. He was right. We did kill people. Maybe not his friend, but certainly others. We had no choice. If we hadn't have... We'd be goners. We had no choice. Yeah, that was clear until now. But not anymore. Right? Uh-huh. There's a chance we can make amends, even if we're misunderstood. Huh? On the house. Eat your fill, friend. Huh? We're dirt rank, remember? Life ain't easy here. But you did help. Besides, you gave us a choice. The choice not to fight. Now, we won't have to take others' lives. I've... I've wished for this. And you made it true. Thanks for that.
med team are able to respond in time. Yeah, if this carries on, the wounds will just keep piling up higher and higher. Gotta keep nice and limber. Seems they're... Already racking up patience. I've been craving some downtime. Shall we put our heads together on this? You lot! Got a second! What's up, Oliaris? It's the Commander! What's the Commander? 
Well, I haven't seen her for ages. Do you know where she is? Um, I don't think we've seen her. Are you sure? You haven't seen her at all. Think very carefully. She wouldn't hesitate to die for the colony if it came down to it. And she's so strong that she'll bear any burden alone, however heavy. Look, if anything would have happened to her, then... Colony 4, then... We'd be... OK, OK. Calm down. Ugh. Sorry. Got carried away. Yeah. Yeah, don't worry about it. Look, if you see her, just tell me, OK? Sorry to have kept you. Yeah. It's you. 
What are you doing here? That's what I was. Wait, look over there! Was that a supply drop? Yes, sent from Agnes. How can you tell? We got word that an advanced troop from Agnes had been seen in the area. And if they're in the middle of enemy territory, it has to be due to some kind of operation. The supply drop must be timed for the arrival of a main force. Funnily enough, it's that supply drop we're after. Did you know about the Agnian troops, Tyon? I've known about the presence of Agnian forces in this region for a while. I could never verify that supplies were being dropped, but I won't say I didn't suspect. Oh, yeah? Well, looks like I can verify it now. From the way that you're talking, it sounds as though you're after supplies too. Well, medical supplies specifically. We thought Colony 4 might need them. I see. Then it looks as though we happen to have the same goal. Really? Boliaris was looking for you. You didn't actually come alone, did you? I actually did. Your understanding of the situation is correct. And I can't risk any more casualties. So you thought you'd go and take care of this yourself, huh? In that case, we... I said I couldn't afford any more casualties, and that includes you. I appreciate that you're willing, but Colony 4 is my responsibility. We want to work with you, Ethel. Be that as it may. We've already made our minds up. That's why we're here. You might end up having to cross swords with people from your own country. <sighs> Talking about avoiding casualties. You know that includes you too, Ethel, don't you? I yield. I can't very well refuse you now. Don't worry, Ethel. We're not who we used to be. Yeah, we won't drag you down. Then if we're agreed, let's hurry and pick up those supplies. Apologies, and thank you all. rising from the container. That's our drop point. Roger, Dodger. Let's go pick it up before someone else does.
dummy! You're dealing with me! Time to get crushed! Oh, you oh, are out of the ground! Have the power to you. I'm still okay! I can help you! Butterfly! Out of my face! Is that me yet? You're pushing yourself too hard! Hey, you can't do that! I'd better send them off. Very reassuring to have you with us, Ethel. Huh. I feel very much the same. Ah, oh, this'll be over like that. They seem a little Another step forward. Oh! Wait. They're on us. Orders? You're dealing with me. Time to get crushed. Come on! Crush your favors up. Good job. Well, well I'm trying to see. Wait, what I expected. I'd say we were moving in sync. 
Right, Tile? Something's not right. Keep your guard up. Hey! Something's not right. What? What do we do? <gasps> no time to daydream. We have to hurry! <laughs> Ethel! You're right, Noah. We have no time to waste. Let's rout those nuisances. Glad that's over. Yeah, just one thing left. Ethel. Huh. What? Take your wounded and get out. Huh. Leave now. Did I do the right thing just now, as a Kvesi commander? There was never a reason for any of us to fight in the first place. You did the right thing, in my opinion. The actions you believe to be correct don't always lead to good outcomes. Some situations aren't salvageable. That's the nature of war. It's beyond anyone's control. Ethel? I'm sorry. What a tedious thing to talk about. We'll recover the supplies and head back to Colony 4. I'm afraid I'll need you all a while longer. Hmm. I really hope we find some medical supplies. Such is the Officer's duty. I'll need a hand here. I'm on it. This is what we were after. Be sure to tuck it away safely. Hurry back to Colony 4. I bet Boliaris is crawling out of his skin with worry right about now.
Make use of this. Should we engage? I'll draw them. Good work, Noah. Crash it! Oh my god! Great! He's the blood of the river. Echo, you're smart and amazing. Fly, Tyler! <laughs> I'm the girl with the gall. <laughs> you can never go wrong with Samitha. Commander? Commander! Commander Ethel! I looked for you everywhere. Where in blazes were you? I went to fetch medical supplies. Distribute them to the med team. Yes, ma'am, I'll... Uh, wait. No. Oh, no, no, you don't. I'm sorry for making you worry. Just... please. I did this for everyone. I understand your feelings, but... Ugh. Well, I suppose at least you're unharmed. That's twice you've helped me out. I owe you another one. Nah, don't worry about it. We were acting of our own free will. <laughs> then to reward your efforts, I'll work on getting our injured up and about again. Come, Boliaris. Uh, coming. Ethel. Hmm? What's wrong, Noah? I was thinking about what you said. The actions you believe to be correct don't always lead to good outcomes. Hmm. If someone like you says it, then I don't doubt it's probably true. But back then, you helped us. You saved us. You risked your life. Thanks to you, we're alive right now. I can say with certainty that's a good outcome. That's the only thing I'm certain of, actually. Noah, you... And we never properly thanked you. Ha, huh, so we didn't. Oh, yeah. Silvercoat Ethel, we want to formally thank you for your courage. <laughs> I can hardly recognize the three of you. I'll continue to do my best to live up to my nickname.
May our alliance last. Okay, all the little jobs are done. Time to hit the bus? You bet! It's good to keep a record. Better make sure we're well rested. Definitely feel stronger. Yeah, let's get some food on the go. Another bit thinner, I think. Best bath ever. Hmm? You taking a dip, Mimi? It's nice and warm. Uh, I might skip today. Was a really a sweaty one. What? How can you miss a hot bath opportunity? Then again, I guess when you smell so nice already, maybe it's no problem. Are you, uh, embarrassed about other people seeing you? There's no need to be. Miss Ethel thought of everything. She even managed to give us a window when the bath would be empty. Ah, yes. I did know that. I guess maybe I will take a dip. Had a girl. <sighs> okay. Don't wait for me. All right, then. Have a good one. And good night. Yeah. Good night, Sana.